for it, so here it is. One of the continuing questions and requests that I've been getting is about zone work, zone cleaning, the deep cleaning that needs to happen to take care of a home. And since this is the beginning of a new month, video every day in August, August 1st and 2nd would be the first two days in the month and they fall on the end of a week. So they actually begin zone one. So this would be a good time for me to start my zone work with all of you. And zone one is the entryway, which includes the front porch, your patio, whatever you use to enter your home, as well as the entryway, like if you've got a hallway or foyer, that kind of thing. So in my home, I have the walkway to the front door, the front porch, and then the main entryway that brings you from the front door into the kitchen, up the steps, and then into the living room. And I needed to do some work on the porch. So that's where I was picking to do today. And when you're doing your zone cleaning, you work in 15 minute increments. And the reason why you do 15 minute increments is so that you build the muscle, you get into the habit of doing it on a routine basis. Now, those of you that have been following me any length of time know that I use the Fly Lady cleaning system and zone work is a part of that system. I'm just going to tell you the Fly Lady cleaning system changed my life. And then my personal mentor, Fly Lady Cat, just kind of helped to push that up to the next level. And this was not a system that I was familiar with when I was younger. I wish I had learned this system as a young homemaker, but hopefully sharing it with all of you can help you step your homemaking up to the next level so that you don't feel overwhelmed and confused and scattered. This video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Visit us at www.aprendiva.com. I'm working on the front porch and I needed to trim the ivy on the porch, give the porch a good sweeping, and then watch the windows and doors on the front porch. Now, when I say trim the ivy, I just mean trim that ivy that's been growing inside the porch railing and then right there along the walkway and then wash the windows with just a little bit of a window cleaner and paper towels, not like get out the water hose and go the whole nine yards. No, this is just a 15 minute cleaning. And the other thing about maintaining your home is you don't have to do everything yourself. If you have a partner, you can delegate some of the things to them. So on the first day of zone one, I had mentioned to my husband that I wanted to work on the porch and that the ivy needed trimming, so he said he would do that. So he trimmed, trimmed the ivy and then he got the blower and then he blew the fronds and leaves and whatever off the porch as well as trimmed the ivy along the walkway. Did he trim the ivy as precisely, as neatly as I would have preferred? Mm, maybe not, because there were a few little ivy strands still sticking out on the porch. I would have trimmed it back a little bit more. However, that was a task that I delegated to him. I was pleased to get it done. It looks lovely and I'm leaving it alone. And I thanked him for taking care of that particular part of zone one. So that unit was done on Thursday by him. Because as you can see, I was busy doing some other things on that day. And then on Friday, day two of zone one, I went out on the porch and then I cleaned the windows and then I cleaned all those little bugs that get attracted by the light. And they kind of get down inside this, the screen door sometimes.
I finished up the things that I needed to do on the porch. And granted, it took me probably more about 25 minutes to get that done because dragging the camera around so that you can see the different things does add time to it. But I was able to get that done. So as a stay-at-home homemaker, I'm home every day. I'm not going out of the house to work. I'm not working part-time from home except for what I do on YouTube, which I can set my own schedule. I was able to do those things during the week. Now for my payroll homemakers, and I got that term from Fly Lady Cat, the payroll homemakers are those who have a job outside of the home as well as their job inside the home. They either work full-time outside the home as well as full-time inside the home or part-time outside the home or they could work from home. But regardless, they have a job that pays them money that is in addition to all the work they have to do inside the home. And so they can't necessarily get those deep cleaning moments that the zone cleaning done during the week and they have to move that to the weekend. So for you payroll homemakers, you would be using Saturday morning, the first hour of Saturday morning to get that zone work done. Or Sunday morning, depending upon which day is your Sabbath and how you make that work, but only for units. So in this video, I'm just showing you two units of zone one since we're starting video every day in August and I'm showing you August 1st and August 2nd. But keep it in mind though that the payroll homemakers would do their zone work on the weekend on Saturday or Sunday and they would spend an hour taking care of those things that they can't get to during the week because once they do get home from work they've got family to care for, meals to plan, homework to help with now that school will be starting again pretty soon and that kind of thing. So that's where we are for zone work or deep cleaning for video every day in August, days one and day two. If you would like some individual coaching, some mentoring to help you tame the chaos in your home, just to help you get things on track, I have opened up some additional slots on my calendar so that I can help you with that. And you would sign up via my Patreon membership. I will link my Patreon in the description box below. And there are three different tiers that you can join, but two of them provide individual mentoring. So check it out and then you can decide which one of the tiers works for you. So did this explanation help? Do you have a better understanding of zone work and how zone work is your deep cleaning and how you can make it work in your home? If you still have questions about that, please leave me a comment in the description box below and I'll make sure to answer it on one of my upcoming videos. To see other episodes of my zone cleaning, click this video next.